the lie we tell ourselves. Hate self propagates pawns that self flagellate, drink the blood and get drunk on the first lie. The creation of the archetype, the myth of suffering, bothering the eternal dreamer, it satisfies the scientist. Insanity over a long enough period of time becomes normal. The soul is beaten senseless, scared shitless, afraid to interact with the mind that is busy building the ultimate prison. Reason, logic. The need to break down to the last cork and beyond. Mutilated, operated on to satisfy the need of understanding motive behind energy, willingly surrendering into the gigantic blender of culture and tradition where it's being mixed with original sin guilt, shame. Shame on us, shame on you, shame on me. Shame on the delirious vision of happiness. Shame on the artificially concocted mysterious need of greed and being dissatisfied with less. Shame on this mass of letters, many are needed, to express what is obvious, but forgotten. Shame on the ill-gotten structure of knowledge. Shame on the first bite just despite reality. Shame on the structure of modernity. Shame on the age-old sleeping titan that has woken up only to sleep again. Shame on wasting energy to perpetuate the blasphemy of this fictitious problem that does not yet exist. The refusal to surrender rooted deep down in the addiction of suffering, it can't be any other way than how I know, how I feel, how I steal a little bit from everywhere. So the pieces fall together into an image alike. So the brush strokes undulate to form a perfect painting. So the fixed rules of the game are arbitrary. It's no longer necessary to follow the hollow balloon of delirium. So the music that plays is a perfect correlation of harmony the opposite of constant disharmony between the beats of entropy. So the words I throw together, fusing them while refusing, the oozing discontent within the collective reality everyone adheres to, They create an escape, a parallel vision, a parallel line running simultaneously alongside it forever, only to bend down somewhere in infinity. So the story, the lie I tell myself as soon as consciousness awakens to mediate between what is and what I think, trapped, confined in a vessel of flesh, mashing billions of neurons together a super highway of connections between the hemispheres, left and right, black and white, a story I like. A lie I can swallow, allow this beating heart's crusade to circulate blood. So once the end is fast approaching and absolute reality comes to take me back where I belong, the great nothingness I will be able to stand on two twigs and tell it to fuck off. 
the ultimate rebellion which holds no meaning but it will feel fucking great an ape that evolved refusing to dissolve into being forgotten a wind chime that sounds one last time before the storm stops the final moment between two seconds where the minute hand stops to reconsider until it finally succumbs. It runs deep. It is old, ancient, outside thought, outside time. It lingers between reality and fiction. It envelops rhythm and rhyme. It belongs to no one, yet it's defined as one. Complete, indivisible, timeless, all-knowing, all-powerful, all-present, limited by infinite complexity, by an eternity that's bound to end, one that is not. An ocean, a wave, a master, a slave, a minute, an hour, sweet and sour, weakness and power, blind with perfect sight, all-consuming darkness, light, the beginning, the beginning and the end, action, reaction. It moves with endless desire, burns like fire, leaving a fertile land behind. Ambiguous in the absence of an end, genuine when it's between me and you, damnable fruit.